Hello, friends. Today, let's solve avoid the flood in the city. We are given an integer array, rents, and the uh, rents i means on day i, it uh, rents on the lack uh, rents i. So in this example, on day zero, the lack zero, uh, the sorry, the lack one will be four of rent. And uh, this means on day three, the lack four will be full of rain. So our goal is to avoid the flood. So how will the flood uh, mm, form? If, uh, for example, if uh, the lack two be rained uh, on two days, it will become a flood. So before the second. Uh, mm, the second run on the leg two, we need uh, to empty the leg two. So if uh, this run i is zero, that means that day there is no run. We can use that day to empty a leg. So in this example, on day two, we can choose either empty leg zero, uh, leg one, or to empty leg two. So if we have multiple answers, we just need to return one of them. Uh, for this example, we cannot uh, return a valid answer because we only have one day to empty legs. But we have two legs that are full. So we can never make it. For this example, we have three days to empty legs, but we only have one leg that is full. So we, we can use one day to empty the leg 69, but the other two days we can empty random leg. So we can just put it as one. For this example, mm, it will run over leg uh, 22. So it will uh, run this 22 twice, and we do not have any day to empty leg. So we just return an empty array. So okay, as you can see, for the rents, we only have two cases. One is that value is greater than zero. It is running. And for the corresponding place in the result, it just will be negative one. And if the value equal to zero, we can pick uh, one leg to empty. And uh, as we can see in the examples, Sometimes we only have one possible result. Sometimes we have multiple results. For this example, for this zero, we can only use that day to empty leg two. Otherwise, it will be flood. But in the this place, for this empty day, we can use that day to empty either leg one or leg two. Uh, either will be okay. So that means for an uh, empty day, we should uh, look at uh, what are the following cases to decide which leg to empty on that day. So we can switch our thinking. We can, we do, when we meet an uh, empty day, we do not need to decide at once which leg to empty. Only when we meet uh, the same leg twice, the second time, we can decide. Uh, use which day to empty in a previous uh, occurrence. So for this example, if we meet the second two, we can first check uh, when we meet the first one, which is in the index one. And let's see whether there is some empty days following uh, this index one. And we use that day to empty this leg two. So in that case, we need to let all the empty days sorted. So for uh, for this sake, train set will be a uh, an ideal data structure because we already have the occurrence of the leg two, the index one. We need to have some empty day that index is. Uh, near to this index one. So we can just uh, call the tree set uh, higher, we, which um, because we already have this index, we will see what is the closest uh, 
empty index in the tree set to the uh, leg two. Okay, so as we have to record its index, so for every uh, running day, we need to save that uh, like number and the index. So for every um, so like uh, these two, we need to save two and one in a hash map. Why we need a hash map? Because only in this way, when we meet the second two, we can know quickly in a big O one time comp complexity that uh, whether we meet this leg before and what is the corresponding index. So we call it a four legs because after it's running, the leg will be four. Okay, so that's it. We iterate this running, uh, the runs array. If it is a cur uh, it is a running leg, and we will check whether we meet it before. So we just check whether it exists in the four legs. If it exists, we will see whether we can find a, a non-running day to empty that leg. So that should be after this running day. If we can find an empty day to empty this leg, we just change. We just put that leg in the empty day's corresponding index on the result array. Otherwise, we just return empty array. That means we can never find a valid result. Every time we need to put that leg and the corresponding index in the four legs because it is running day. So time complexity is big O n log n. Space complexity is big O n. We will see why uh, after we are uh, mm, writing this code. So let's write the code. We first get n, which is runs length. And we need a uh, uh, result array. The size will be n. And we will fill this result to 1 because uh, we may have some days that uh, we can empty a, a random leg, so we just uh, fill it to one. Then we need a true data structure, which is true uh, tree set. We call it uh, empty day, uh, empty legs, because we can use these days to empty a four leg. And we also need a map integer and integer. We call it uh, four legs. Why? Because we save the leg and its corresponding index. Okay. So we iterate this runs. I less than an i plus plus. So we get a current leg, which is runs i. If the leg greater than zero, that means in that day. One thing we should know is that day we can do nothing. I will just be negative one. And we will see whether we meet this leg before. If the four legs contains key leg, if we meet it before, we will see whether we can find uh, some empty day after its index. So we will try to find an uh, empty day, use that day to empty its uh, first occurrence. So that will be empty, empty legs higher. So what's the um, value here? That will be the first uh, occurrence. So four legs get leg. If we cannot find an empty day, if just equal to none, we just return an empty array. If we can find it, then the corresponding place in the result will be the current leg because we to we are going to use that day to empty that leg, and we need to remove that uh, day from the empty legs. We remove the empty day, right? Remove empty legs. Remove empty day. Yeah, and. Uh, if we are the second time to meet it, or we are the first time to meet this leg, we both need to put or update that leg and the index. OK, so if it equal to 0, if it is equal to 0, we just uh, need to put 
that index to the empty legs at the current index i. In the end, just return result. So why it is big O n log n? Because we need to iterate this range, so it's n. And this part is big O 1, constant, because it's a hash map. But uh, the empty legs is log n. And this part is also log n. And uh, in the worst case, we need all the uh, values in the range are 0. So we need to vt the log n times n. So it's big O n log n. OK, thank you for watching. See you next time.